thanks for coming back guys to another episode of loners we appreciate you guys coming uh if you haven't don't forget to like and subscribe and jump over to our vlog channel all right we appreciate y'all and number episode number 58 roll that intro yes Wow, I feel so special. I'm so seen right now. Let's to say the intro. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're back again. Um, anything you'd like to update the people with? No. <laughs> Let us know how everything's going over there, you guys. Thank you for watching and for liking and subscribing. We really do appreciate you and guys taking... And for following yeah. our other channel because yeah. we see you. Thank yeah. You. Help us get to help us get to a thousand subscribers. All right. On the other channel. We can do it. That's what I meant. Yeah, we can do it. All right. Because of you. No, we appreciate you guys a lot. Um, taking the time out of your day to watch us. You know, we hope Even you just do to enjoy listen. it. Yeah, seriously. You know our voices are so entertaining. It's true. Um, yeah, it's true. So today we're going to do another video by World Friends. We've done a few of them already and we we like their stuff usually. I do. Yeah. yeah. So this one is called American Schools versus British Schools. So all you Brits out there, mate. Okay, that sounded kind of Australian. All right. <laughs> when and I was a kid, I couldn't tell the difference between British and Australian it, accents. Yeah, it did sound similar until I went to Australia. Then I'm like, oh, and then when I watched Jim Jeffries, I'm like, I hear the difference now. Yeah, no, there's definitely a difference. All right. And here we go. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm Hallie from the US. Hi, I'm Katie from England. I have they look like so sisters. many they do. like crazy memories from being a teenager. Like sometimes I look back and think, what was I doing? Like why was I doing these things? Yeah, we did some wild things when we were a teenager. Some really good memories, some really bad ones. I'm just gonna say, if you're from the UK, she sounds like I feel like almost Irish or Scottish. Mm. So let us know if, I can see that. if you can kind of like decipher her accent because it doesn't sound like London yeah, or something like that. She, yeah. You know what I mean? It sounds more like of a town. Oh like my God, not I'm going to sound real dumb right now, but is this considered like reserved posh accent? Because it's not like she's like. Do you ever see slanging that? Slanging with her friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like she's more reserved, but it's still not. I know. It's not like snooty. Do you do you remember that show uh with Jack Whitehall or whatever? I don't know. With his dad, that English dude. Is that Idiot Abroad? No. What was that show? I'm getting confused. He's like a rich English dude, a okay. comedian. He's, I don't know names. He sounds posh or whatever. I guess you would say because he sounds. Was it like a scripted show? Yeah, well, kind of. It's like a reality show where he takes his dad around the world. What is that called? I know what you're talking about. And the yeah. dad was like just. He's super, an older man and he's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was just like. You could tell he was like, I can't remember this the kid is nonsense or yeah. whatever. What about him? I was saying he's like that posh. Like Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think of Alfred, you know, yeah. like uh, <laughs> Batman. Batman's, yeah. yeah. That's so true. Yeah. I think like being song. a teenager, of course, I don't really it's know. ups and downs. Is, yeah. That's it, what it is. To yeah, be a it teenager. is. Yeah, a lot of heartbreak. A lot of um, good times, too. I made good <laughs> grades, but somehow was not a great student at the same time. Mm -hmm. same. Like, I did as little as possible to get the highest grades. <laughs> that's me. Like, I was really good at that. I would still say that's my specialty and that's why I missed high school. Yeah. <laughs> because I could just breeze succeed it. with the, the slightest effort. in American schools versus British schools. American schools. Hello friends, my name is Mr. Sunshine and I'll be your principal here at Cracker Barrel High. Well, I'm here for you, my door is always open and I hope your time here at Cracker Barrel High is a magical experience. Versus British schools. <laughs> Get off the, are you smiling? <laughs> here Wait, what school are they talking about? If you're in like, it, that looks like you're in some like, like a small state type of school. Like you're in the like south or Yeah, Minnesota like the thing. south, yeah. Because when I was in high school, the principal hated us. They did, she, he wasn't like that. I'm trying to think what age, because elementary school, um, my principal was pretty cool, but high school, she was a fucking bitch. <laughs> Sorry, but she was. 
She could have <laughs> been on the Supreme Court. It's crazy. Judge Judy. Back to Mentor Academy. I like Judge Judy. We take this Dementor. seriously. I've heard a few people ask, who is the principal? This is a British school, and I am your head teacher. My name is Mr. Sledgehammer. <laughs> God, they're, home, they're aggressive. You never see me again. Dismissed. Yeah, I can. It's giving Matilda. Yeah. I can confirm. Like I said, my dad is a principal. Oh. Recently, he changed from middle school to elementary school, and it was his birthday. And all the kids in the entire school, so it's like 500, maybe 600 kids from ages uh, five to like 12, and they came out and lined up the hallway. And all the other teachers planned this together. And they lined the hallway, and my dad walked through the hallway like in a pageant, like waving <laughs> to everyone like this. And they gave him like a, a mermaid oh princess crown. So he was what wearing it. And my dad, like, he's six foot five, <laughs> like maybe 300 pounds. Oh, he's a huge guy, and he just had like a little princess crown walking through, going, oh, Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I think if they did that in my school, like, if our head teacher did that, we'd be like really confused <laughs> and probably <laughs> throw things. <laughs> That's funny. Like it's so different in our school because like the head teacher's like so serious and we don't really see them very much except for when they want to make like an assembly to tell us something really important like about something with the school. Like we, yeah, they're really, really serious. Yeah. So like I think that's so funny watching that. Like obviously it's a huge exaggeration, but it's pretty true. Yeah. And like, I think the same when I think of American schools, all the teachers like really happy, positive. Yeah. So I mean, not all the time. My high school principal, miserable. he used to buy everyone ice cream. He would just come to our lunch period and sit with us and buy us ice cream. Wow. <laughs> we had like spikes on the thing, so like we couldn't climb out of the school. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, that's a funny story. So in, prison? Or in what? our high school, there we had that on the fence so people wouldn't climb out to go skip school. And we were skipping school. And my friend jumped back over it. And he cut his leg and he had to go to the hospital. Your solution isn't like, I don't know, cameras. Your solution is barbed wire. Endangering yeah, the barbed children. wire. Yeah. So he cut his leg and he had to go to the hospital. Yeah. That's like prison. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a British school. <laughs> Dress code violations in British schools versus American schools. British schools. Morning, sir. Morning. Oh, stop right there. What's the issue, sir? Let me measure that tie. Um, okay. Oh, just as I thought, your tie is 0.8 of an inch shorter than is mandated in the dress code manual. <laughs> Please don't send me to the ed teacher's office. It's too late, man. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> no. Versus American schools. With our dress codes, we want our students to be comfortable. And <gasps> is everything okay, mister? Are those spaghetti straps? Yeah, I like make them myself. <laughs> Stay calm, everyone. Stay calm. I like don't see what the issue is. We have uniforms in all of our schools. We don't have any, as far as I know, that wear like own clothes. Wait, oh, what? You guys have public schools, don't you? Does every school have uniform in the in Britain? I had no idea if that was the case. Let us know, because that's actually a good question. I don't know. That sounds like boarding school, or like pr like here it's like only private school. Have that. uniforms, yeah have uniforms i mean my junior high had uniforms but they were kind of like we, it was like a t-shirt with a logo yeah like it a wasn't like a polo shirt right we had polos and we had actual just like t-shirts Oh, it's, okay yeah. um so we had like color restrictions and like we had to wear logos and stuff but it mm -hmm. wasn't like plaid skirts and whatever the hell that's like catholic school yeah yeah it wasn't like yeah. We had options, that, but we had to stick to a certain code in junior high. But high school, we could wear whatever we wanted, if it, except like we couldn't show our shoulders if you're a woman, because God forbid the men stare at your shoulders and lust over you and get distracted. <laughs> and then also like your skirt or shorts had to be like only two inches above the knee. That's like the shortest it could be. Huh. All right. I don't think men had dress codes as long well, as they as long as they wore clothes. So like the things that you couldn't have like anything representing drugs or Games. violence and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, they didn't let um they didn't let at my high school for you to wear like even like sports caps like a Lakers cap you couldn't wear it because they thought it would, or Raiders especially because they thought you were like gang affiliated. Damn, All right, <laughs> that's wild. 
Save me so much time. Yeah, it's so much easier. <laughs> like, we hated wearing uni uniforms. We thought it was really cool that you guys can wear your own clothes. Wow. Now I look back, I prefer wearing uniforms because <laughs> so you don't have to choose. It would be so much hassle. But they were really like fussy on like the length of the tie and things like that. Wow. We used to wear our ties really short. Mm -hmm. And if somebody wore their tie long, this is before we had rules, if somebody wore their tie long, we would get the thin part and pull it and it would make a really tight knot and kind of strangle them a bit. That's and funny. That it's like a wedgie for your And sport. then when we got no. moved to the other school, when they merged together at the academy, they oh. gave us ties with like an elastic <laughs> thing so that we would stop strangling each other. Jeez. <laughs> that's funny. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of school I went to. <laughs> but yeah, we used to wear them really short and that was kind of like the fashion. The first like two years of school, they didn't really care about it until it started to like get taken mm. over and then they would tell us to make your tie properly. But yeah, they had ready tied ties with elastic when we went to. Um, at my school, yeah, we had a lot of rules. Of course, we could wear our own clothes, but we had, yeah, like no spaghetti straps, um, obviously, no strapless shirts, cleavage, you couldn't like show too much. I would probably get in trouble for this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we had the fingertip rule. So, like, when yep. you stand up, your pants have to go past your fingertips. And I got in like, I got kind of mad at a teacher one time because she was telling me it was my gym teacher and she told me that my, my shorts were too short. But then I was like, look, look, <laughs> it's below my fingertips. And she was like, I don't care. Your legs are too long. And I was like, you cannot change You can't that. <laughs> blame me for my legs being too long. That's crazy. I guess in our school, like we had a lot of people who would like roll up their skirt to like make it shorter yeah. sometimes. Um, we did so. that with our short. Yeah. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma, my grandma there is from Scotland. Um, my dad's side, she said that she, they should, her and her friends used to do that too. They yeah. were so cool. That's so funny. English exams in British schools versus American schools. British schools. Okay, without using a book, write a two-page essay on how <laughs> Mercutio pushes the plot in Romeo and Juliet. I can't even remember who Mercutio is. Mrs. Book didn't prepare me for this. I'm gonna foul. Are you sure I can't have the text? Nah, you should have studied. <laughs> Versus American schools. Okay then, the text is called Romeo and A, Juliet, B, Tracy, C, Dorothy, <laughs> or D, Karen. Ooh. Karen? I don't know. Let me just guess. Okay, okay. Karen. Okay, it's Romeo and Karen. That sounds about right. We had like crazy questions in our exams and like especially in the English ones, they loved us writing like essays and things. And yeah, especially when we were doing English literature and I have like so much trauma from my English teacher because he would like play a, a film and we'd be like getting into it and then he'd pause it and he'd be like, so this part really explains like the depression that was really happening in this time. And he would go on for ages and we're like, surely we should watch the movie and make our own <laughs> evaluation but ooh. so yeah then they would make us answer these huge essay questions that were just bizarre and we'd have to like write pages and pages so you know we'd add so many filler words to just try and lengthen it out we had a lot of essay questions too i have to say we had a lot of writing assignments but i think the main difference would probably be it was like less literature based like less about analyzing the author and more about our own creativity and our mm. own thoughts so we were very much encouraged to like think outside of the box, put our own thoughts down, and you would get scores for that. It yeah. always drove me crazy because I'm such a like perfectionist. With the rubrics for the scoring for our essays, it was like creativity was like one of the scores and oh, then like like <laughs> expressiveness and stuff like that. And I'm like, I'm just a good writer. Can you yeah. give me points for that? Right. I just <laughs> thought like with ours, like we didn't even get like questions exactly it was like write an essay on this topic and then it would be like set amounts of words so we'd literally just get a piece of line paper no but i always wanted that it. because it took me like more time to think of my topic than to write the essay because <laughs> there's just too many choices yeah it's That's really true. hard and like in our like uh, maths exams it was always like bizarre questions yeah. and they were very very serious like we had these people called invigilators who would literally like walk <laughs> up and down the hallway and just stare at the page oh my God. <laughs> to make sure that we Jeez. were like not cheating or anything yeah. it was crazy we couldn't even take like water bottles with labels or anything in case we were cheating like right yeah. in the inside and stuff graduation in american schools versus all right um obviously that's exaggeration the whole like Romeo and juliet question i remember um 
we had I remember my English class and we were learning about Romeo and Juliet, not Romeo and Juliet, but we were reading Shakespeare plays. And there is each book had like a no fear Shakespeare. I don't know if you had that. Did you? So basically it was like almost a cheat code, I guess. So like the actual book written by Shakespeare or the play would be on the left side. And then on the right side, it would be like, I don't want to say translated, but pretty much like dumbed down so that you Mm. can understand. So if you would read the actual book and then if you something didn't make sense or like you really just couldn't figure out what the hell that message was or what they were saying on the other side, it would pretty much break it down for you, which I thought was super useful. It's like, what's the point of like they encourage you to critically think what you think it would mean and then to check in with the other side got it so that you would grasp the whole message yeah that makes um, sense we had a lot of essays too though like yeah in, i hated in high essays school. i hated essays i liked Everything. writing i liked writing but i hated like essays yeah and i want to know what school she went to in america because i don't remember getting the creative points you were either right or wrong she was saying they didn't get creative points she did or she did she huh? said huh? British schools, American schools. The past four years have been a journey. We've had high highs, and yes, we've had low lows. But if there's one thing I've learned from being here at Cracker Barrel High, <laughs> I love the name. 21. We made it. Versus mm-hmm. British schools. Here, are you going to graduation? Mate, that was last week. Oh. Oh, well. Yeah, we don't really have graduation. Like, I don't think we did anything <laughs> like that. I think, like, what? they did an assembly to say, like, you know, good job, you've what? done it, and then bye. Yeah, but that's totally different than graduation. <laughs> you guys, during your entire... That's kind of nice. I feel I like I kind of wanted that. Like, I would want that. It's too much pressure to have everything, get, you know, graduation, they put it, like, a huge pressure on you. My brother, love you, had two graduation ceremonies last year. Because COVID backed up one of them and then he ended up going to like, he did his community college and then he did his actual like yeah. university and <clears throat> both ceremonies were th- within like six months of each other and they take so long, so long to get through because they start with the last name A's and go all the way to Z and it's usually hundreds if not more like and, people and, and you got to sit through the whole thing yeah and her last name is R so it took forever but even once they say the kid's name you're not gonna leave you're gonna yeah. wait yeah because you have yeah yeah exactly I mean I would have loved to <laughs> I didn't even want to go to my own guys I didn't I didn't either to be honest all right anyway for years you're planning Good to job. graduate but i think in the u.s it's more of like i actually made it <laughs> oh. it's like because our graduation yeah. i don't think our yeah. graduation high uh graduation rate is as high as it is in the uk maybe rate. so there's like oh, people fun. that are legitimately like celebrating people can't and this pay is for like it. their biggest achievement so uh, so they make more They're of a big deal yeah. out of it i guess yeah with um, those like you you have to attend the five years like it's the law to finish high school so everybody Aww. will finish in the end and i guess there's some people who maybe didn't pass all their exams but then they'll get like support to go on to the yeah, next no. thing um you so can definitely drop out in the u.s oh we don't have like the graduation ceremony or anything it's just like <laughs> bye then <laughs> off yeah. you go yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, definitely. It was like a big kind difference. Of. I mean, I think the most shocking one for me was the graduation ceremony. Yeah. yeah. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, I remember when we were doing our practice, they make you practice too in, in high, high school. In high school, yeah. I remember, I remember we were practicing and like there was like maybe three people that like when they were reading the names, their name wasn't on it or their name was crossed out. And it was like so shameful because they're like, you're not graduating. <laughs> like they made a, you know, yeah. a deal about it instead of just being like good job guys yep i would have preferred that same things in school ours sounds like a bit more like i don't know our school life in general like in my first few years in my rock ferry school was a lot more relaxed and like more fun and then when we got to the second school it was a bit more serious um but we didn't make like big celebrations or anything like that it was just do the work but i get the impression that like british people have more of a life outside of school so they're like restricted in school and then once they get out they just go crazy yeah it's like freedom but in the u.s we kind of just i guess it's a bit more (laughs) 
Bella because we go crazy at school. Mm -hmm. Like we're not so reined in. So we're able to kind of let out like our feelings and our creativity and stuff. So I think we go less crazy outside of school. <laughs> So today we compared the differences between US and UK mm. high school life. Mm, if you like no, the video, awesome. please like and subscribe and leave a comment and we will see you soon. Bye! Bye. That's right. So if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Jump over to our blog UK channel. or grew up there, let us know. Yeah. That let stuff was... As accurate as yeah. you were saying. Let us know in the description too if you dealt, if you had a different situation that you dealt with in high school so that we can get like different perspectives. Because I'm sure it's not only like however she, I also I didn't know they had to make, make, they had to wear a uniform everywhere. I don't know why that, that, that didn't like occur to me. I thought it was just some schools. You know, what about that show that we saw the UK show, Sex Education? Oh, I thought you were going to say. Um, they were, they weren't having to wear uniforms at that high school. Yeah, they didn't. But it's a show, but I'm sure there's wait, public schools there. Did they? No. I haven't oh, seen wait, it in maybe a while. They did. I think they did. They might have. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. That's true. Never mind. You guys just let us know in the comments. <laughs> wow, we haven't seen that show in a, in yeah, a hot minute. It was, it was funny. Um, but what was the other one? The Those four guys that were friends. The in-betweeners? Oh, in-betweeners. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They wore a uniform. I think in Sex Ed they did too, but maybe. Yeah, I think yeah, they maybe. did. Uh, if you guys, that that's a funny show too. I know you guys have probably seen it if you're from the UK, but the Inbetweeners, we like that one a lot. Those guys are yeah. funny. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Anyway. We hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, like and subscribe, guys. Please. We appreciate it. Jump over to the vlog channel and we'll catch you next time, loners. Bye, guys. Thank you. Peace.